Hi, it's Wolf from Castle.com, and this is my latest project. It is how to make the throne from Game of Thrones. Yes, it is. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little excited there. And this thing is actually made out of real swords. It's small, as you can see. It's actually made technically out of kind of real swords. And I'll show you how I do that in this video. See this nail? That is called the duplex nail. And I want to thank Tylen for sending me in this idea. Tylen saw this at a Renaissance fair and said, you got to do it. So I said, wow, that's wonderful. You put them in the forge and you hammer them out to make little swords. Isn't that just adorable? And I'm down to my crap, my, well, my not so good swords anymore because I used all the good ones to make the throne. I don't know how many are in there, 100, 100 and something? Uh, but what a lot of fun. If you're a Game of Thrones fan, you're going to love this little throne. It is all made out of swords. That's right, it's just not the same size. Um, I, I'll show you how I do this, how I hammer out these, and how I put this together, and how I make it. Uh, thanks for watching my, my video. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Right, oh, the DS here is just, you know, my usual pink foam. Uh, give me a thumbs up on this video if you like it. If you're a Game of Thrones fan, uh, you know, leave a comment. Leave a suggestion. I always take suggestions, and I read all comments. Uh, that's it. Look, that's fun. What a fun project. I can't get over this. Game of Thrones. I'm going to do more Game of Thrones stuff. I, I did the ice sword, and now I'm going to do more Game of Thrones. So stay tuned. If you're a Game of Thrones fan, or Song of Ice and Fire fan, then uh, stay, stick with me. There's more projects coming. Let's launch into the introduction, and then let's make, do the how to forge mini tiny itsy bitsy little swords out of nails, duplex nails, and then how to make the game the throne out of it. Thank you. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmith, and model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Alright, so let's get those nails in the forge. Those are duplex nails, and I have a different bunch of different sizes of them. I got like 16Ds and 14Ds, 12s and 8s, I think. Because uh, it really kind of helped with making the throne. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And just pound them out. Take your time. I think that's a two-pound hammer. And I made a whole mess of them. I'll flatten them out to look like swords. And uh, turn them around and flatten out the pommel on the hilt, too. And I experimented a little bit. It's kind of interesting. Smaller hammer, larger hammer, what I didn't flatten. You'd be surprised by the variations you can get in swords. But it's fun. You can use a torch on these. Please be careful. Look at that. Heat them oh up. Goodness, Look at that. Isn't that something? That's beautiful. A few things as wonderful as hot steel coming out of the forge. Um, three pound hammer there works really well too. Quick and easy. You can get it all pretty much done before it cools. And uh, what did I want to show here? Oh yeah, I also made some scimitars. I'm gonna sh I'll show you a quick picture, you know, by curving them on the horn of the anvil. Now I could go crazy, but I had a task here to make a bunch of swords for the throne, so I, I spent a lot of time making those. But here, let's take a quick look. Different ones, little swords. Uh, I might give some of these away. So let's get working on the throne. Uh, for some of the parts, particularly the back piece, I needed them thinner, so I sanded them down a little bit to thin them out. This way they could um, stack together without being too bulky. And they do bend, but they're pretty tough to bend, so you gotta use some good tools. Like those needle nose pliers wouldn't work. But very malleable, very nice. <coughs> and I never made anything like this before, so I just kind of experimented. And it works out well by putting a block of foam as the seat. And then I started tinkering with that. Now, I didn't really know the scale of it yet until I started making it, and that was kind of important. I just kind of started making it, getting a feel for the swords and the scale and how it was going to be, how, what the size of it was going to be. And it was good to have different sized swords. And the block of foam actually helped a lot. I probably should have painted it black so it wouldn't show, but I ended up painting it black later. Well. But there we go. Can't make a mistake. Can only just try it a different way. You know, this is, you know, a bunch of different little experiments I tried and tried it this way and tried it that way to try to get a look that I wanted. Now, I got the structure of the, like, the kind of like, if you would say, the four legs of the throne so I could make the dais that it sits upon. So let's make that right now. 
I drew out a template here with paper so I knew the size of it. Tried different circle sizes for the whole platform. It's more like a platform, I guess you could say. And then once I get the size right, I cut that platform out of Foamular. That's one inch thick. Trim it out of belt sander to get it nice and round. Add the pattern on it and you can press down with a ballpoint pen so it's indented. And I also extended those out the sides. Makes a difference in how it looks. So there you go. That's how it's going to look. Now that I've got the size about where I wanted it, now I can start to build it out. Looks like a, some kind of a crazy spider right now. I was looking through the thumbnails and I was like, what's that spider? I was like, oh wait, no, that's the throne. And you can see that copper wire. If you see the copper wire there on the left at the top, you know, I bound a bunch of them together so I could fit it in there and see how it looked and just started building out the structure. And the fan pattern in the back like this, I hot glued it to um, black construction paper so it would stay together in the shape that I wanted and then mounted that in the back like this. Which came out kind of nice. But I did a lot of tinkering that I'm not going to show you or this video would be too long. But you get a good idea of what I was trying to do here. The hot glue worked really well. And for the most part, you can cover it up with um, black paint later on. and it, Or maybe even silver paint, depending on where it is. Um, but it gives a molten metal look. So we add some more, do the side, do the armrests of the throne. So you just keep adding to it. And then now I get this, the chair just about all where I want it. We do the um, melted section around it. It's kind of like a melted section. I did that in an air drying clay. Because it kind of melts itself into the, the, the platform. So now let's paint it. Um, black to touch up all the styrofoam inside that you should want, so you don't see it. We don't want it to be pink. A little bit on the swords, cover some of the hot glue. Some silver paint, and then I added gray later. I don't think I show that because the silver was a little too bright, so I had to tone it down. Now, these swords are old, so for the most part, they stay that blackened color, but I did touch some of them up with silver, which actually made it look a lot better. It looked nice like that, some of them silver, all the way around. Now, some of the pommels and the hilts a gold color. Adds just a dash of color to it, and it looks really nice. <clears throat> Not too much because those swords are old, they're kind of tarnished. So that's it. Just about done. Dry brush the platform. A nice gray color. I had a lot of fun with this project. I really, of course, you know I enjoy foraging. Um, I got some ideas and then um, age it a little bit by dabbing down some black. Gives it a good look. And that's it. You know I love foraging. I got more foraging projects coming, more armor projects coming, more Game of Thrones stuff coming. It was fun. It was kind of a neat idea. My thanks to Thailand for sending in the idea and for making the swords. And uh, kind of cool. Yay. The Game of Thrones. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Um, hit that button. Leave me a comment. Leave me an idea. Tell your friends about it. I'm on Facebook. You know, Stone the Castle's on Facebook. Twitter. Um, check out the website. Here's a few more projects you might like. There's Ice from Game of Thrones. Riptide from Percy Jackson. A Daedric Sword from Skyrim and The Hammer of Thor. 500 more projects and videos right here on my channel. Don't go away. Thank you.